I knew nothing about the AM, or and uh, I was working late in the evening. Ted was doing a sports show from six to eight p.m. on WFLA then, and uh, and a midday show, as I recall. And uh, uh, Ted comes right around the corner into my office, and I don't really know who he is. I know who he is, but I didn't know him personally. And said, "Hey, I need your help in a minute. Uh, to turn on the radio station. Me and Heenan are going to get in a big fight on the air, and uh, I just need you to come in and break it up, and then uh, pretend to throw him out of the building." And uh, oh, yeah, great, no problem. And I, I, I'm not a wrestling follower, so I don't really know who Heenan is and or Ted. So sure enough, they get in a fight on the air. I come running around the corner, bust into the control room, and it is like, uh, Heenan, I need you. You get your ass out of here right now. Something and start trying. And I mean, he slowly turns around. Heenan does and gives me this glare, and I'm like. Oh, my God, this is real. This guy's going to absolutely destroy me. And I thought, he's supposed to play along with me, Ted. I didn't tell him that you were going to be coming in to break the fight up. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like, oh, no, what did this guy get me into? And, I mean, I'm I'm not should I just keep continue through this? And, of course, uh, you know, I, took, I, I said something about I'm going to call security. And we had no security. But that was in the old building downtown. But it, it, we probably should have. But we didn't, and, uh, and uh, you know, finally he uh, plays into it. But that look he could give you, and you know, uh, pull that off, I just knew I was a dead man. And I was like, I've lived here like three days, and I'm about to be, you know, broken in half. So cool. <laughs> By the way, Gabe ended up marrying our producer at the time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, uh, 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 Renee Heath. Yeah, I think she's somewhere around here. So. Uh, <laughs> well, well, David, the things you know, people do to them. avoid a sexual harassment charge, right? I'll marry her. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it uh, was kind of the other way around, I think. But uh, uh, I haven't decided whether or not to, uh, you know, go to the press yet. But uh, I, in all seriousness, I, you know, I've uh, worked with both of you guys. Uh, really since the beginning since I came to Florida back in the 80s and uh, um, and spent most of my adult life there and I, I tell you you're wondering about what a nightmare it is to manage and coach uh, various and sundry disc jockeys and talk show hosts because of their ego and this and that and um, uh, uh, Jack and Ted both especially Ted you know you, you just made it such a joy and uh, you know you you both are, are professionals and two of the most talented guys and uh, I don't know if people know this, they were nominated for the National Radio Hall of Fame last year. Um, uh, they'll be nominated again this year on the ballot, and uh, uh, you know I'm going to do everything I can to um, yeah, you know express my opinions and get you guys in there because you know you deserve it, and it'd be a, a great gift uh, for you to get this year, Ted. But uh, uh, you know, brother, I love you, and uh, you, you know, like I said yesterday, uh, uh, do something stupid, fun, but safe uh, in your retirement and, uh, uh, you know, have all the fun the good Lord can give you. Thank you, Gabe. Hey, Gabe, and I hope we see you up in Chicago at the Radio Hall of Fame in November. You'll see me hopefully in the next couple of months right there in Tampa Bay. Well, that's good. even better. Hey, thanks for calling in, Gabe. Thanks, Gabe. Appreciate it. we got uh, some other people calling in. We're going to try to get around to everybody here sometime this morning. But uh, first of all, we've got to go to the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. Meteorologist Lee Spann and... Lee, it's going to be a little gloomy in here without Ted. How's it going to be out yonder? Oh, well, let me first say, to pass on to Ted, that he will be missed. I've enjoyed working with him, and he is certainly an institution here in the Tampa Bay area. Enjoy his retirement. Now, for those of you who are trying to get outside, maybe and see the super blue blood moon, probably going to want to bundle up. It is chilly this morning, but the skies are clear. And blue skies all day, really, so we get up to 68 degrees. Winds relax, so it should be a little more comfortable. And comfortable for Thursday and Friday, especially for Ted getting to relax the next couple of days. All right. We will talk to you later. No, I have a great day. Let me tell you about Dr. Hershon Health and Weight Loss Center. Now through February 14th, Dr. Hershon's offering a sweetheart special to help you lose weight. Couples, best friends, husband and wife. When you come in as a team, your office visit is free, and you and your partner get the initial consultation and computerized body composition analysis, a $300 value for free. Go see Dr. Urshan with a friend 
and take advantage of this our special. Go to getthinpampa.com. Offer ends February 14th. Now let's go to the newsroom and Chris Trinkman. The nation and its capital belong to the American people. That's what President Trump said as he wrapped up his first State of the Union address. He challenged lawmakers in Congress to respect that edict by listening to, protecting, and proving themselves worthy of the American people. The president said Americans contribute to the world in many ways by filling the earth with art, music, and pushing the boundaries of science and discovery. The Hawaiian worker who set a false missile alert reportedly had a history of believing that exercises were actual events. The employee had been an issue for higher-ups of the emergency management agency for more than 10 years. The worker was fired on Friday, and the emergency chief has resigned, while another employee faces suspension. House Speaker Richard Corcoran, who represents central Pasco County, is out with a commercial that reenacts a shooting blamed on an illegal immigrant. Corcoran's message, anyone can be murdered by someone who crossed the border in violation of the law. Tallahassee's mayor is among those accusing Corcoran of being divisive to score points for a possible run for governor. I'm Chris Frankman, News Radio 970 WFLA. Now let's check sports. From the 620 WDAE Sports Center, I'm Aaron Jacobson. The Lightning saw its three-game win streak come to an end following a 3-1 to one loss in Winnipeg. Victor Hedman was back in action. Hedman had missed five games with a lower body injury. The Lightning continued their four-game road trip through Western Canada on Thursday against the Calgary Flames, 9 p.m. puck drop. The Washington Redskins and Kansas City Chiefs have engaged in the first blockbuster trade of the 2018 season. The Redskins will acquire quarterback Alex Smith, allowing them to part ways with previous starter Kirk Cousins. The Redskins will give Kansas City a third-round pick and Redskins cornerback Kendall Fuller as compensation. The Tampa Bay Rays have cut ties with team physician Michael Riley one week after the team was made aware of a YouTube video in which a woman accused him of sexual abuse. For more on these stories, listen to our sister station, 620 WDAE. From Florida Central Credit Union, free checking traffic center in Pinellas County have an accident on East Lake at Ridge Line Boulevard. A wreck southbound on US 19 at Gandy or Park Boulevard. An accident on 580 at Landmark Drive and in Tampa. There's a wreck at Dale Mabry in Columbus. It looks like it's southbound. This traffic report is brought to you by Sims Crane and Equipment. Sims Crane, Florida's premier crane safety and rigging experts, offering cutting edge technology for on time crane operations, small and large, always available. Visit SimsCrane.com. Daisy Ash, News Radio 970 WFLA. News Radio 970 WFLA, now transmitting in South Tampa on 102.9 FM. Are money matters on your mind? Here's David Graham with today's Money Minute. Well, look what just happened. The Dow Jones fell 362 points yesterday. I hope that you didn't take it in the shorts. Unfortunately, it's a bad sign of things to come. Warren Buffett always says, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And right now in America, greed is good. So if you're planning for retirement within five or so years, you better start getting fearful quickly because not only did you lose a lot of money yesterday, you also lost some of your monthly retirement check. In the future, things will only cost you less. Look, you simply can't afford to lose one penny anymore. Why? Because you're now running out of time. Need help? Just go to GrahamCapitalAdvisors.com. Listen to David Graham every Sunday. Sunday at 9 for guaranteeing your retirement on 970 WFLA. When bad weather threatens, depend on your severe weather station. News Radio 970 WFLA. Broadcasting from the Audible Hearing Aid Studio, this is News Radio 970 WFLA. As a marketer, you want to reach everyone adults, teens, millennials. But it's not like these groups all hang out in the same place, right? Actually, wrong. They're all right here, listening to radio commercials just like this one. Radio ads connect with 93% of Americans. In fact, radio reaches 20% more millennials.
all your friends in the forest. The trees, the pond, that little fort that you made out of branches. We all miss you. Mom took me to the forest last year. I'm a slug, Steve, and it took me a long time to get here. Oh, I guess I'm excited. The forest is not that far away. Have an adventure today. I'm sure your mom would take you. You're right. I should get up. I want to have fun. Plant puddles, catch frogs, and climb trees. Hey, Mom! Yeah, hon? <gasps> Stephen! What is that in your hand? It's my sense of adventure, Mom. It's telling me we need to get out of the house and have some fun in nature today. Come to the forest where the more adventurous you lives. Check out discovertheforest.org for cool places nearby. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. It's weird how people who don't listen to Rush Limbaugh think they know all about Rush's show. That's like trusting your car to someone who's never opened a hood. Now here, listen to this. Let me truth you. Rush is different. He's smart, compelling. He concentrates on the things that affect you and your family. We have a daily relentless unstoppable pursuit of the truth. Oh, and there's another thing. He's just fun to listen to. Tune in, you'll see. It's a lot of fun. Rush Limbaugh, today at noon. On News Radio 970 WFLA. Injured? Dial pound 529 on your cell. Pound long, that's all. Saying farewell to a great friend. You're listening to the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. And on it goes here this morning as we're broadcasting from the Golden Diamond Source Theater here at iHeartRadio. And we got another special guest on the line to say something to Mr. Webb this morning. And uh, would our guest please check in? <laughs> Lionel, Leo how you Nils. doing? How you doing, buddy? Let me tell you one thing very quickly. Let's, let's, let's cut through all this crap. Let me tell you, this man is a genius. There was a time in radio, and bear with me, Jack. If you, I swear to God, if you tell me, whoa, we're plumb out of time, I'm going to stick a pencil in your heart because I got to talk. This is important. <laughs> there was a time in radio years ago when WFLA was the most fun place, the most experimental. We had the best lineup. We had people that no city could compare with. This is an absolute fact. And there was a mentality and there was a spirit of go out, don't lose the license, but have fun. Push the edge, be crazy. You wouldn't recognize that today if you listen to the dribble all over this place. When I first started, I was brand new. I didn't know anything about radio. Nothing about the rules, and I still don't, nor do I want to. We used to be on Jackson. Remember the Jackson Street, Jackson, whatever, that old, the old Jack Harris building. So tiny, two people couldn't pass each other in the hall. When Bob Schumann, who weighed 9,000 pounds, would walk down the hall, you would have to get into a studio. Am I lying? No, if I, if, no if truth. I'm exaggerating, stop me. No, okay? no, that's true. If he walked us and said, oh, God, here he comes, and we get in and let him pass by. One Friday, I was leaving. It was pouring down rain, that typical Tampa thunderstorm where everything rocks and shakes. And I walked by the studio. I just finished whatever I was doing, and Ted's in there, and he's got his hands up in the air like, I don't know what to do. What's going on here? So I stuck my head in and I said, what's, what's going on? He said, we can't take incoming calls. Remember that evening? Yeah, I remember that well. Okay, so I said, well, listen, in that spirit, that crazy Dave Maseko, Randy Michaels, hey, let's have fun. How tough can this be? I said, can we call out, now mind you, Ted's a veteran. You think if I was breaking the law, Ted would say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, hold it, you can't do that. It's against the law. No, not Ted, he's smiling. I said, can we call out? He said, yes, we just can't take calls coming in. There was a newspaper. I thought, let's call up people who are looking for jobs. They'll, they'll help one in ads. The aggressive I'll call salad on maker. The, air. the aggressive we'll, salad maker. I remember yes, that one. Yes, we'll call them up. We won't tell them they're on the air, which you have to do. Ted's laughing. You think Ted would have told me, listen, on your papi, you can't, you can't do this. Just, no, no, he's laughing. So I called up, and I was, there was one ad for some place that they needed. It was a chain, an aggressive salad maker. I don't know what that is, right, Ted? I don't know. We still don't know what an aggressive salad maker even entails. I said, this is a good one. Call him up. 
So we're on the air live. I'm calling this place, whoever. This guy answers the phone. And at the time, it was a modified, remember, he who curved a house had that voice where he, anyway. That was in my mind. So I called up, live on the air, unbeknownst to this person, and I said, hey, I'm responding to that ad in the paper. You want an, an aggressive salad paper uh, maker? I love salad. Give me a chickpeas, romaine, lettuce, carrot. I even got my own knives. Can I bring my knives? When do I start? I'll pay you. Just let me cut anyone on and on like Ted Bundy, some psychotic person. The guy says, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And anyway, Ted's laughing. Remember, Ted, we called the Girl Scouts. And I told the Girl Scouts that I was the truck driver that was about to deliver the elephants. I don't know what that means. They were scared. The elephants, they haven't eaten. I got to water the elephants. Where do I bring the elephants? We called somebody one time from a, whatever. Make a long story short. Very short. The then TV person, Dave Maseko, comes in and says, can I ask you a question? Yes. The Girl Scouts just called me. I said, really? I, f I forgot all about this. Did you and Ted happen to call the Girl Scouts or whatever? I said, well, maybe. Did you did you clear this? No. And I looked at Ted and thinking, you son of a bitch. Why, why did you let me do this? He said, it was good radio. <laughs> we had more fun. When you used to do your, I used to call up as La Manguera. I, I hate to do it. I'm going to buy ah, you a clock for son next of year. A bitch. I'm going to buy you a clock. We do you run. ever give any time? Do you allocate this when you sit down and think it's about these Hey, let's go. 7 30 on AM Tampa Bay. <laughs> anyway, I love you today. News Radio 970 WFLA. I'm Chris Trankman. Our top story at 7.30. A gymnastics coach in Lakeland has been busted for child porn. 21-year-old Alexander Kachalov was a coach at the Elite World Gymnastics Training Complex on State Road 33. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd tells News Channel 8, Kachalov went on the Internet posing as a teenager to obtain pornographic images of kids. It's really sickening if you saw some of the things that my detectives have to see while they're investigating child pornography. Detectives found 21 images of boys and girls between the ages of 3 and 12, some being sexually battered. Deputies say Kachalov confessed to downloading the images, but claims he never touched a child. Investigators are asking parents who had kids at Elite Gymnastics Center to be extra alert as there may be real-world victims. Trump talks immigration, ignores Russia. That story ahead. First, let's get an update on the roads. Here's Daisy Ash. We have an accident report around 50th Street at Causeway. Also have a crash southbound on Dale Mabry at Columbus. Westbound I-4 has some slow traffic from US 301 into 275. We slow southbound on the Suncoast Parkway from Lutz Lake Fern to the Veterans Expressway at Hutchinson. In Pinellas County, have an accident southbound on US 19 blocking the left and center lanes approaching Gandy and Park Boulevard. We're slow on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. And crash on East Lake at Ridgeline is off to the side. Daisy Ashes Radio 970 WFLA. Last day of January, and it is chilly this morning, but nice this afternoon in the upper 60s. It's 46 degrees at News Radio 970 WFLA. News is a service of the Bonatti Spine Institute. No off script moments from President Trump, who kept his first State of the Union speech positive, talking about fixing illegal immigration and touting his jobs record in the last year. But correspondent Stephen Portnoy says the president is planning a change at Gitmo. The president announced toward the end that he's revoked his predecessor assessor's executive order closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay. Barack Obama set out to do that on his first day in office in 2009. He was stymied at every turn by Congress. He all but emptied Gitmo over the years. It still has a few dozen detainees. President Trump vowed to fill it with more. Meanwhile, one subject noticeably absent from the speech, the Russia investigation. Ed Henry has more from Capitol Hill. The New York Times online immediately tried to frame this speech as out of touch by writing the president focused Focused on what he called extraordinary successes, but quote, avoided the turmoil of the Robert Mueller special counsel investigation. Even though, by point of fact, every president, Democrat or Republican, focuses their State of the Union speeches on yes or accomplishments and avoid 
controversies. That did not stop Senator Bernie Sanders in one of several Democratic responses to the address from charging the president, leaving out any mention of Russian interference in the 2016 election, shows he has a, quote, special relationship with Vladimir Putin. The main Democratic response was given by the grandson of Robert F. Kennedy. Joe Kennedy says Trump's divisive messages will not be part of Americans' future. There's been a jump in the number of gun discoveries at many of the nation's airports, including Tampa's. Last year, federal security screeners confiscated 97 guns from passengers at Tampa International Airport at the security checkpoints. 90 of them were loaded. That puts Tampa International sixth in the nation for airport firearm discoveries, followed by Orlando International. It is reflective of a spike in the number of guns seized at U.S. airport security checkpoints. But I think there's a number of things to it, but I think the number Number one is forgetfulness. Mark Howell of the Transportation Security Administration says many people who carry a concealed weapon simply forget it's on their person when they go to the airport. Passengers can place their weapon in their checked luggage, but it has to be unloaded and placed in a secure case. Sharon Parker, News Radio 970 WFLA. House Speaker Richard Corcoran of Land Lakes is out with a commercial from his political action committee that reenacts a shooting blamed on an illegal immigrant. A young woman gun down by an illegal immigrant who should have been deported, but was protected by a sanctuary city. Corcoran's message, anyone could be murdered by someone who crossed the border in violation of the law. Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum says there are no sanctuary cities in Florida, and Corcoran's just trying to be Trump light. It's easy for Richard Corcoran to run a disgusting ad about immigrants when the President of the United States thinks of places like Haiti and the continent of Africa as shitholes. Gillum running for governor as a Democrat, Corcoran's expected to announce his campaign for the governor's office once the legislative session ends in March. It's 734 at News Radio 970 WFLA. Weather is next. Or Ticketmaster.com. Farewell, Yellow Brick Road Tour. November 28th, Emily Arena. Don't miss the last time to see Elton John live on tour. Produced by AEG Presents. Did you start 2018 with a resolution you've already broken? Well, don't break the one to be prepared and safe before hurricane season. Call 877-90-BANCO today to schedule a free consultation for a hurricane-rated garage door for my friends at Banco Overhead Doors. With hundreds of designs to match your home, it not only keeps your family safe, it offers priceless peace of mind. Go online today and schedule a free estimate at BancoDoors.com. Americans are always on the move. They're in the car, at the office, working around the house. Americans refuse to sit still. So how do you connect with all of these moving targets? Easy. With radio. Radio reaches 93% of Americans every week. More than Google, Facebook, even television. Because, hey, who has the time to sit and watch TV? So when you want to connect with all those constantly moving adults, teens, and millennials, get to iHeartMedia.com and put AM FM radio to work for your company. Hi, I'm Chris with Cash Call Mortgage. With today's rising home values, Cash Call Mortgage is now offering a 15-year fixed-rate refinance at 3.5%, 3.646 APR, to let you pull out up to tens of thousands in cash to pay off high-interest credit cards, car loans, do things around the house, or for anything you want. My husband and I realized the best low-cost way to get a large chunk of cash was to take advantage of our home's value by refinancing. Chris got us a low interest rate, and we pulled 50000 in cash out. We paid off credit cards and a few other things, and the whole process was super easy. And Cash Call Mortgage pays all third-party closing costs on refinances. So make the cash call now at 855-875-CASH to see what you can save. Your house is your bank. That's 855-875-CASH. First Mortgages, Impact Mortgage Corp, DBA, Cash Call Mortgage. 
Mortgage, 1 City Boulevard, Orange, California, 92868, NMLS, 128231. Equal housing lender, not licensed in all states, including New York. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing terms or restrictions. Not available in Washington. That's 855-875-CASH. Is my kid in the right car seat? I guess she is. There are probably rules on when to move up to a booster seat, aren't there? Rear-facing, forward-facing. I think I have it right. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Are your children in the right car seat for their age and size? Don't think you know. Know you know. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Lightning. Flames. Tomorrow night at 830. Only on 970 WFLA. The home of lightning hockey. For many businesses, hiring is tough. You want access to highly qualified candidates fast. And you don't want to sign a long-term contract or pay upfront fees. That's why you need Indeed.com. Delivering six times more hires than any other job site, according to Independent. Independent research. Indeed is offering new users a $50 credit to give their first job post premium visibility as a sponsored job. Redeem this offer at Indeed.com slash credit. That's Indeed.com slash credit. Terms, conditions, and quality standards apply. Never wait for weather. Get the Storm Team 8 forecast at the top and 30 past each hour on 970 WFLA. Cool and breezy as we round out the month of January this morning. Temperatures do warm up nicely, though. Lots of sunshine, up to 68 degrees by the afternoon. It should feel pleasant with lighter winds. It's mostly clear and cool overnight with a low of 52. And then slightly warmer tomorrow, mostly sunny and 72. I'm Storm Team 8 meteorologist Lee Spann on News Radio 970, WFLA. The Crown Eurocar's air quality index is good. Right now, mostly sunny. 48 degrees in St. Petersburg, 44 in Safety Harbor, and 45 at your severe weather station. News Radio 970, WFLA. Next update at 748. I'm Chris Trankman. This report is brought to you by InvisibleFence.com. Dog owners have trusted Invisible Fence brand to improve life with their pets. Their Boundary Plus technology has the longest range of protection of any dog fence. Recently awarded Consumer's Digest Best Buy, your pet will enjoy their freedom within safe boundaries. Learn more at InvisibleFence.com. From the Florida Central Credit Union Free Checking Traffic Center, have an accident southbound on US 19 off to the side approaching Gandy and Park Boulevard. A wreck on southbound Dale Mabry at Columbus, an accident on 50th Street at Causeway. And this traffic report is brought to you by TheraWorks Relief. To relieve muscle cramps in your legs and feet, use TheraWorks Relief. This fast acting foam is clinically proven to relieve leg and foot cramps. TheraWorks Relief can also prevent muscle cramps. Get TheraWorks Relief today at select CVS and Rite Aid pharmacies or theraworksrelief.com. Daisy Ash, News Radio 970 WF. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Traffic Tip Line, Hillsboro. 866-545-9595. Saying farewell to a legendary Bay Area broadcaster. We're back with more on the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. And we got a full house here at the Golden Diamond Source Theater at iHeart Media on Gandy Boulevard in Tampa. And a lot of people we're going to be meeting here. Um, and first of all, uh, up here to say hello is somebody we might be hearing a little more of on the uh, AM Tampa Bay show in the future. And Where did you hear that? Mark Larson. Where did, are you going somewhere? <laughs> well, occasionally. I only filled in when you were gone because you couldn't work with me. <laughs> and, uh, and they said, Jack's gone. I said, how many times this year? Ten? You're like Johnny Carson, man. You take more vacation time than anybody else I know. <laughs> wow. But the uh, last show I did with Teddy was, what, 2013? Uh, that's when I retired the last time, and I kept asking, man, when are you going to do it? Play a little golf, go fishing, have a good time? Anyway, it's good seeing you, brother. I waited five years to take your advice. <laughs> well, I'm glad you finally did. Yeah, but I did. Well, you know, we're not going to take up golf, though. I always tell people, golf is like smoking, and, and you used to be a smoker. If you don't play golf, don't start. It's just not a healthy thing, man. But uh, we had some good times here, and, and uh, I think just working with you guys and, and going back in retrospect, I mean, there's too many things to go back over. Uh, there's the bachelor party, which we won't talk about. Yeah. You sprung Ray Perkins on me when I was on 93.3. You were doing the sports show and came across the hall with this guy. Oh, Ray Perkins. Of course, Ray Perkins is a guy a lot of us try and forget. But Teddy walks in with this guy, and I thought he was Ray Perkins. 
Who was that guy? I forgot, but he looked like Ray Perkins. He was like yeah. a twin. Ted comes in, hey, man, I want you to meet Ray Perkins. I'm thinking, hey, of course, I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> this guy walks in. I thought it was Coach Ray Perkins. I found out an hour later he dressed up the whole thing, which is what Teddy normally does. But uh, people like to go back maybe 20, 30 years and say, you know, I remember your best moment on the air. But uh, one of the most outstanding moments you had on the radio, Ted, did not happen 20 or 30 years ago. It happened just a handful of years ago. And you you guys had Ron Reagan Jr. Oh, on yeah. the air. And this went on for a few minutes, and I'm listening. I'm driving down the road, and I'm listening to this guy trashing his great father, Ronald Reagan. And I knew this guy was about to boil over. I could just see it in my mind's eye. And there's people out there just, I know they're screaming and yelling. And all of a sudden, Ted wraps up the interview pretty much by, I'm not going to say it because we're live on the air. Well, we played it earlier, and we're going to play it again oh, later. And, and I mean, so many people said, oh, what a Ted's best. And you just... You called him an a hole. I mean, yeah. just that, you, and you, didn't, went, you didn't obfuscate it, and I'm banging on the dashboard, going yes. And I know that there's thousands of other people doing the same thing. And you still had a job afterwards. Yeah. So, but I, I think uh, I think what made the, the uh, people go back to the '90s. I just real quick, and, and I want to do a Lionel here. But I think what made uh, talk radio. We were the trailblazer for talk radio, along with WLW, our, our flagship station. And I think when the company back then took a gamble on all of us. What was so funny is all of us were ex-DJs, and that's why you had the fun and the humor and the timing and, and the irreverence that we had. And they took a bet on all of us old DJs and threw us on talk radio. And, man, we ripped it up, and it was a great, great time. Hey, Mark, we got to run, but I want to thank you for coming by, and we hope to hear you on the morning show some. If, if you want to pay for my E&O insurance, I'll be glad to come back on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brothers, thanks Mark a lot. Larson, thanks for having me. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, Mark. We got uh, another special guest who wants to uh, say goodbye to Teddy here this morning, and that would be Marco Rubio. I think you know that name. Yeah, what is it? Does he ever? I don't think you've called me anything on the air, Ted, but maybe off the air. I mean, with me on the air, I've never heard you say anything. But maybe we can work on that today. I'm sure I can say something today. That to... I was always good to you. You are always were. You are. Well, now you're going to still be on. During midday, a couple times, a few times. I'll or? come in. I'll, I'll come. I, I'm doing a, a financial show with David yeah. Graham. Yeah. And, so will that uh, be every day or whenever you feel like it? Yeah, that's every day. That's but we 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 tape it uh, two days a week. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Well, good. That's. Uh, and, and he's going to continue to do Webb's World, and yeah. uh, that'll be on Wednesdays, and also occasionally coming in and filling in oh, for me. Oh, wait a minute! I remember. I did burn your ass one time on Webb's World for something you said. What did I say? I forgot what it was right now, but I, I got you. I got you. It was, yeah. oh, I know what it was. It was uh, immigration. Oh, I see. Yeah, you, well, I remember you, all that. When you joined I remember the, those days. When you joined the Gang of Eight, but I didn't call you an a-hole. Yeah, well, <laughs> other people did. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think you didn't stand up last night one of the times that all the other Republicans stood up. On what was, you know, I'm not into the standing, sitting stuff. I clap. I stand if it's like something, you know, a veteran or I, I stand and sit all day. I mean, for like an hour at church on Sundays. So at these things, I basically, uh, I clap. And then if it's something, you know, but it's almost like a little parlor game with how many times do people stand? Do they not stand? It doesn't, in my mind, it doesn't mean anything. I'll clap, you know, and, uh, and that's what I do. But I do stand, but there comes a time where you just, you know, the up, the down, the up. The, we should like... We all talk about it among ourselves on the floor, by the way. We all say there's got to be, like, some sort of rule where we all agree that, you know, we'll stand up at, like, mentions of this, that, and the other. But uh, it, people want to read into those things. Uh, they mean nothing. It's like a the speech was a little long. I think it was very good. Uh, told them the White House that last night. I thought it was a very good speech with a lot of really important moments in it. I just said, hey, but the only thing is, is gosh, I mean, like time, can we like shave 15 minutes off some part of it? Yeah, I ran a little longer than but it's it's I'm just an early guy. You know, I get up early. I go to sleep early. So, you know, by 1030, you know, I'm usually at least in, I'm already in REM. Let me ask you something. Are your hands really bigger than his? You know, uh, I don't, <laughs> well, the, um, Gosh, I don't know. What should we'll, I say? We'll have, to, we'll have to have a hand measuring one day here. Yeah, you know, I, you know, let's just—I don't, I don't know if it matters at this point, right? He won. That's what's most important. Well, and, Senator, uh, we got to run here, but we want to thank you very much for 
taking the time to come on here this morning with our man Teddy, for Thank sure. You. Thank we'll you. Miss, we'll miss having you on in the mornings and being with you, but well, I'm sure we'll have a chance to, you know, catch up and uh, and, and do different things, and, and uh, now you can, you know, enjoy, you can, like, sleep normal hours now, which is going to be a He'll, a he'll never do that. Lauren, oh. Math hey. Lauren Matthew said to tell you hi. Oh, I'm going to tell him hello. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hello. Uh, Thank you very much, Senator. Cause Thank you, guys. Thanks for we're going. Luck. We're Thanks. going from a senator to a president, an ex-president. Ex-president? Ex-president, yes. Uh, president of a couple things, but not president of the United States of America. Not yet, anyway. Teddy, a man is known by the company he keeps, and clearly just by your guests today and your friends today, you are a great, great man. I am I'm so thankful to have count you as a friend. Your leadership, your mentorship has just been fabulous, and I will always treasure the times that we get to have shared and will continue to share together. Teddy, you are a great man. I love you, my brother. Que tenga buen vida. Thank you, Tim. All right, thank you, Tim. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Out of the presidency. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tim. Well, that's Tim Waters, who used to do Clinton. No, that, that's not Tim Waters. That's not Tim? No, that, that's Tim, but not Tim Waters. Oh, okay, we got the wrong Tim. <laughs> thought we had Tim Waters, the guy that did the president. And wait, where, what is he going to do? My fellow Americans <laughs> or something like that. But it didn't happen. Anyway, 748, almost 749. Let's go to the newsroom and Chris Trink. About three-quarters of Americans who watched President Trump's first State of the Union address thought he did a good job job a quarter disapproved that's according to a spot cbs poll that found 80 percent felt trump was trying to unite the nation hillary clinton now says she should have fired a former staffer for inappropriate conduct during her 2008 presidential campaign in a long facebook post clinton explained that she only demoted and punished the employee partly because she believes in second chances the new york times reported on friday that clinton kept senior advisor burn strider after a young female staffer accused him of sexual harassment. Land O'Lakes residents are not happy about the possibility of having to live with a massive hole in their neighborhood. The Pasco County Commission met to discuss what to do about a sinkhole in Lake Paget Estates that swallowed two homes last summer. A public safety official is recommending the county leave the hole as is, but put fencing around it. One resident tells the Tampa Bay Times that will not fly, but the county says all other options are just too expensive. I'm Chris Trankman, News Radio 970, WFLA. Now let's check sports. From the 620 WDAE Sports Center, I'm Aaron Jacobson. The Lightning saw its three-game win streak come to an end following a 3-1 to one loss in Winnipeg. Victor Hedman was back in action. Hedman had missed five games with a lower body injury. The Lightning continued their four-game road trip through Western Canada on Thursday against the Calgary Flames, 9 p.m. puck drop. The Washington Redskins and Kansas City Chiefs have engaged in the first blockbuster trade of the 2018 season. The Redskins will acquire quarterback Alex Smith, allowing them to part ways with previous starter Kirk Cousins. The Redskins will give Kansas City a third round pick and Redskins cornerback Kendall Fuller as compensation. The Tampa Bay Rays have cut ties with team physician Michael Riley one week after the team was made aware of a YouTube video in which a woman accused him of sexual abuse. For more on these stories, listen to our sister station, 620 WDAE. <laughs> 50th Street at Causeway, also a crash southbound on Dale Mabry at Columbus. And there was a crash on southbound US-19 approaching Gandhi and Park Boulevard that they moved out of the way. We're very slow on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. This traffic report is brought to you by TheraWorks Relief. To relieve muscle cramps in your legs and feet, use TheraWorks Relief. This fast-acting foam is clinically proven to relieve leg and foot cramps. TheraWorks Relief can also prevent muscle cramps. Get TheraWorks Relief today at select CVS and Rite Aid pharmacies or TheraWorksRelief.com. Daisy Ash, News Radio 970 WFLA. Next chance to win $1,000 coming up at 6 past the top of the hour on 970 WFLA. When you're ready to make a big change in your life, one of the best ways to do it is to make your life more colorful. And you can bring that color to your home with a great work of Serta Pro Painters. And winter's a great time to paint. During the cooler weather, the lighting and lower humidity provide an ideal environment for great coverage and quick drying times. They've done it here at iHeartRadio, and they did it at our house, and they're about to do it in our condo. We know well what a difference Serta Pro Painting can make. 
Whether it's inside or outside your home or place of business, don't put it off. Make that difference in your life now. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Local business owners who are a part of our community, and you'll love the job they do. There's never any mess. They take care of it all. When you're ready to make that change in your life and the lives of those around you, call 800 go Serta. that's Serta with a C, or go to CERTAPRO.com. As they say at CERTAPRO, we do painting, you do life. Yeah, you can ask the guy in pesticides about patio furniture. We sell patio furniture? But you don't have to, because Leaders Casual Furniture offers expert advice on quality outdoor furniture. Leaders Casual Furniture, 18 locations. Find one at LeadersFurniture.com. Dear Ted. Your friends at Mr. Empanada send their best wishes and congratulations on your retirement. They appreciate your support, dedication, and of course, the slogan, almost as good as my mom used to make. You'll be missed, and they love you, Ted. And thank you many times over. Are kids better off in an intact family? You bet they are. This is Joe Cordell of the domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell. Kids living in a household with married parents do better in school, they're emotionally healthier, and they're more likely to stay out of trouble with the law. If you're in a troubled marriage, of course you should do everything you can to save your marriage, if only for your kids' sake. This includes considering alternatives to divorce. Of course, in some circumstances, divorce is unavoidable. In either case, if you're a man facing a crisis in your marriage, let us help you at Cordell & Cordell. Remember, we're the partner men can count on. By the way, unless you're in Missouri or Illinois, I'm not licensed in your state, but that's okay. Our attorneys in your state are. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Tampa area attorneys, a partner men can count on. Online at CordellCordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Office is in Tampa and by appointment only in Orlando. Cordell & Cordell, Tampa, Florida. Lauren Adkins, Florida resident partner. Announcers are not licensed attorneys. Hey, car owners of Tampa, welcome to the future. It's called YourMechanic.com, a network of fully insured, experienced mechanics who come to your home or office. That's right, YourMechanic.com does house calls. You do it all online, from receiving a quote to booking your repair or service. And there's never any surprises. You pay the quoted price and only the quoted price. You like the convenience of the modern world. Phone apps that get you rides around town, takeout from restaurants, even having your beer delivered. So why are you still getting your car serviced the old-fashioned way? And because your mechanic is a huge company without all the overhead of repair shops, you actually save money for the convenience. Oil change, brake squeaking, car won't start or your check engine light on, doesn't matter. They'll fix it. And since the mechanics are from the Tampa area, they know the car issues you face. Finally, car repair you can trust. Call now and receive $20 off your first service. 800-929-1552. That's 800-929-1552. Again, 800-929-1552. Does your retirement plan make sense? Find out at GrahamCapitalAdvisors.com. Saying goodbye to a legendary Bay Area broadcaster. This is the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. And we can't even get in all the good wishes. Uh, Dick Crippen was sorry he couldn't be here, you know, with the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Bay Rays. Now people know him. I see we got Mason Dixon. On the line, we'll get around to him as soon as we can because we got Bob Basham here, a guy who started, uh, was one of the people who started a little restaurant here that I said, this thing's not going to be a big deal. It was back when red meat was very unpopular and the Australian theme was kind of gone. Outback Steakhouse, Bob Basham. How about it? Give him a nice answer. I, th I, th I think it worked out pretty well. <laughs> but now he's into all kinds of other restaurants. One of my favorites, PDQs and Glory Days. Thank you, thank you, and Ted, uh, we're uh, here today just to say thank you for all you've done for the community over the years. Wouldn't be a party without food, and we're good at, at doing food. PDQ is good at doing food, and Glory Day is good at doing food. So we're serving all, <laughs> it's a crowded crowd here today, and just want to say thank you for all you've done for this community. You've been a great ambassador for this community. Uh, you're a fabric of this community, and uh, you're going to be missed. And uh, it's amazing, you know. It, it kind of, uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone. And and uh, every day coming in to work and listen to, listen to you guys on the radio is part of, part of the uh, part of life in Tampa Bay. And I just want to say you'll be missed. And thank you for all you do for this community. Thank you for all you do for this community. Oh Bob. yeah. Thank you a thousand times. You you guys have have been there whenever people have needed you and. 
you supported them financially as well as with your food. And on behalf of all the people here, I want to thank you. Uh, th thanks, and I've, we've got. I know you're going to have some time on your hands. You're going to have some time to go out to dinner. I've got from Glory Days. We have wings for a year for you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. From uh, from PDQ, we have. Uh, Tenders for a year. Okay, so thank you very much. You'll need a place to go to lunch every day, and you'll have it. You'll and you'll be welcomed at, 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 as you, you very, will all over Tampa. Bay, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Keep the good food coming. My son goes your glory days up there in D.C. all the time. But that's Bob Basham, and it's seven fifty-seven on AM Tampa Bay. You know what makes me sad? You know what makes me so weepy-eyed and broke up? I just want to watch the movie Terms of Endearment so I can perk up. And Ted Webb is retiring. What the hell? Ted Webb is like an institution in this town. I don't mean a mental institution. I mean like a institution. Ted Webb, incredible announcer, accomplished photographer, Master of Trivia, and a part-time ninja. I bet you didn't know that last one, did you? That's how good he is. Ted Webb's been on radio in this town since 1963. And it finally dawned on him this might not be his career. i give you an idea how long the boy's been on radio around here. When Ted Webb got started in Tampa, the Gasparilla Festival was two guys with peg legs walking down Bayshore Boulevard yelling, Arr! Yeah, but now Ted's, he going from asking trivia questions to being a trivia answer. That's what he's doing. The question being, that guy that was on with Jack, what was that guy's name? Yeah, that's who you are now, Ted. And Ted Webb has touched me personally. I want you to know that. I don't mean in a creepy, inappropriate way. Ted taught me, though, how to unleash the inner Earl. This guy is the godfather of the radio rant. He is. One of the highlights of Ted's career, in fact, he once called Ronald Reagan Jr. a butthole. Only he didn't say the word but, and he did say the word holo. I'll give you a second to put that together if you like. Now, a lot of people have asked me, what is Jack Harris going to do without Ted Webb? I can reveal now. Jack has told me personally. He hopes to double his salary. But Jack without Ted is going to be like Heckler without Jekyll. It's going to be like Tony Orlando without Dawn. It's going to be like Jennifer Edels without them other two people in that group. I don't know. It's going to be lonely. Be a little lonely place in my heart without Ted around. And Jack is going on and on and on and on. Wake up, America! <laughs> And if I may add one thing, can I have your parking space? I parked like three blocks down. I'm serious as sin about this. Right? That's an Earl Pitts American, Ted Webb's biggest fan. Pitzel. This is News Radio 970 WFLA Tampa, WXTV HD2 Clearwater, W275AZ Wesley Chapel South, W224BE Brandon. Good morning, I'm Chris Trankman. Our top story at 8 o'clock. President Trump is getting high marks for his first ever State of the Union speech for trying to unify the country, even on controversial issues like immigration. Trump touted jobs as a big accomplishment. The state of our union is strong because our people are strong. President Trump began his report to Congress on a note of optimism. Jumps, he says, are roaring back and wages are on the rise. This, in fact, is our new American moment. But when it came to his immigration proposals, under our plan, Democrats booed when he spoke of ending extended family immigration. And this line about ending the threats that he says are posed by the current system raised eyebrows. Americans are dreamers, too. The president urged a down-the-middle compromise on immigration where nobody gets exactly what they want. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. President Trump left out any discussion about Robert Mueller and the Russia investigation, prompting independent and former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders to lash out. How do you not talk about that unless perhaps you have a very special relationship 
with Mr. Putin. CBS poll shows 75% of viewers giving Trump's speech a thumbs up. Gray's fire team doctor. That story ahead. First, let's get an update on the roads. Here's Daisy Ash. From the Florida Central Credit Union Free Checking Traffic Center. Have an accident on 50th Street at Causeway. Some slow traffic westbound on I-4 from Thanota Sassa to McIntosh. And from I-75 most of the way into 275. An accident is wrapping up from Boyette Road south of Lithia Pinecrest. We slow southbound on the Suncoast Parkway from Loose Lake Fern to the Veterans Expressway at Hutchinson. Or so on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. For more up-to-the-minute traffic updates on your route, download the new Total Traffic app powered by Traffic Karma. Daisy Ashton Radio 970 WFL. It's cool and breezy out there this morning, and as we head through the day, we warm up to 68 degrees. It's 45 degrees at News Radio 970 WFLA. The Tampa Bay Rays have dismissed the team doctor after posting of a YouTube video by a woman who claims he assaulted her when she was a teenager. So this started when I was 14 years old. Uh, I started babysitting for this person. Uh, his name is Michael Riley. He is the doctor for the Rays baseball team in St. Pete, and he also has a private practice at St. Anthony's in St. Pete. The woman who identifies herself as Brianna Ra asserts Dr. Michael Riley would put his hand on her shoulder and try to kiss her behind closed doors. The Rays say they have alerted the St. Petersburg Police Department and Major League Baseball. And police say there is now an open investigation. We're now hearing the 911 call of a Lakeland woman after her husband shot an intruder who kicked down their front door early Sunday morning. The subject just broke the door down. My husband is shot him. Somebody's got to come here. Help us. Ma'am, we have the caller. We're coming as fast as we can. 19-year-old Gabriel Jacobs was shot in the chest. He remains in critical condition. Police have not filed any charges against the homeowner, Michael Ives. Ives and his wife tell police Jacobs had been ringing their doorbell and kicking their door for 15 minutes. They warned him they had a gun. It's unclear if Jacobs was armed or if he was impaired. Remember that huge sinkhole that opened up in the Land of Lakes neighborhood and swallowed a couple of homes last summer? Pasco County commissioners are now considering what to do with that sinkhole. County administrators say the community wants it filled and the neighborhood wants a road built across it. But the county says that is not doable. They're considering fencing it or creating two cul-de-sacs in the neighborhood. It's 804 at News Radio 970 WFLA. Home prices in Tampa Bay kept rising faster than the national average late last year and were 7% higher than a year ago, according to the widely followed monthly survey. Home ownership rose in America for the first time in more than 10 years because the Wall Street Journal says millennials have somehow overcome rising prices and tight supply to buy their first home. Consumer confidence rose to near recent record highs, but it shows many people are still skeptical about reports that pay raises are becoming more widespread and about whether the tax cuts President Trump signed will actually cut taxes for them. The Dow has fallen 500 points in the last two days, but stocks are still up more than 5% for the year. Kiplinger Financial News says deciding whether to sell stocks does not have that much to do with the stock market, but everything to do with your personal circumstances and age and assets and time frame. The Certify Expense Account says two-thirds of business travelers now use Uber or Lyft instead of cabs or renting a car on business trips. That's one reason stocks in Avis and Hertz have fallen 20 and 7 percent in the last three years. For News Radio 970 WFLA, I'm Joe Connolly with a Bloomberg Business Update. Your shot at $1,000 now. Money. Uh -huh. Text the nationwide keyword bank to 200, 200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rates apply. That's bank to 200, 200. Are you at retirement age or are you planning your retirement? Or maybe you just want to know if your retirement plans are sound. Let me recommend you call David Graham at Graham Capital Advisors. David Graham is a master certified estate planner, and that's only one of three in the state of Florida. Call him for a complimentary consultation. You've worked hard your entire life. Make sure your retirement is secure because it's not what you earn. It's what you get to keep. David Graham, the retirement guy, is a fiduciary. You know what that means? 
That means he works for you. He doesn't work for a bank or an insurance company. He works strictly for you. It's about protecting your assets from excessive taxation and market fluctuations and staying ahead of inflation. Call 800-808-5009. That's 800-808-5009. Or go to GrahamCapitalAdvisors.com. Eric was way behind on his taxes. I owed a lot of money to the IRS. Almost $15,000. Eric called Optima Tax Relief. When Optima Tax got involved, the calls would stop. The threats would stop. It was easy like uh, one, two, three. Optima Tax Relief took care of Eric's problem. And now my debt is clean. I don't owe anything. Call Optima Tax Relief for a free consultation. Call 800-960-1575. 800-960-1575. Cameron McIntosh presents the spectacular new production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Phantom of the Opera. Critics are raving. It's bigger and better than ever before. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. February 14th through 25th. Tickets and information at strazcenter.org. The domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell has been the partner men can count on for over 25 years. Hello, my name is Joe Cordell. Over those years, tens of thousands of guys across America and now in the UK have turned to Cordell & Cordell when everything was on the line. We're proud of that expression of trust, but we know the responsibility that comes with it. Our tremendous growth is a result of our tremendous commitment, commitment to a core set of values and an obsession with client care. If we ever lose that focus, we'll cease to be the partner that guys will count on. We get that. So you can be sure that our focus over the next 25 years will stay on those values that got us where we are and that our clients have come to expect. By the way, unless you're in Missouri or Illinois, I'm not licensed in your state, but that's okay. Our attorneys in your state are. Contact Cordell and Cordell online at CordellCordell.com. Cordell and Cordell, Tampa, Florida. Lauren Adkins, Florida resident partner. Announcers are not licensed attorneys. Severe weather can happen at any time. Get the very latest on your severe weather station. 970 WFLA. Chilly and breezy out there again this morning, but with lots of sunshine, temperatures warm up nicely. We get all the way to 68 degrees, just slightly below the average of 71. Still keeping the humidity comfortable and the winds will be a little bit lighter. Tonight, down to 52 degrees, and then for tomorrow, mostly sunny and 72. There is a small craft advisory this morning out on the water. Northeast winds at 10 to 20 knots and a moderate chop on the bay. I'm Storm Team 8 meteorologist Lee Spann on News Radio 970 WFLA. Your Ed Morse Cadillac Tampa UV index is 8. Right now mostly sunny. 48 degrees in St. Petersburg. 45 in Riverview. And 47 at your severe weather station. News Radio 970 WFLA. Next update at 818. I'm Chris Trankman. <laughs> We have slow traffic southbound on the Sun Coast Parkway from Lutz Lake Fern to Hutchinson. Also seeing an accident at 50th Street and Causeway and slow traffic on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. This traffic report is brought to you by Tampa General Hospital. Once again, U.S. News and World Report named Tampa General Hospital one of America's best hospitals for 2017 through 2018. This year in six specialties. Explore more at TGH.org. Tampa General Hospital. Expert care in your corner. Daisy Ash, News Radio 970 WFLA. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Traffic Tip Line, Hillsboro. 866-545-9595. Paying tribute to a great friend and Tampa Bay radio icon, the Ted Webb Retirement Party now continues on News Radio 970 WFLA. And we have a very special guest here today, an old friend of mine, a guy I worked with for a long, long time doing the Mayor's Hour. And a guy who, if you gave him the choice of being president of the United States or governor of the state of Florida or mayor of Tampa for life, he would take the latter. He would rather be mayor of Tampa than he would any of those things. And he is for another couple of years, and that's Mayor Bob Buckhorn here. Jack, thank you. Thank Thanks, everybody. Teddy, you know, this has been a uh, traumatic month and a half for me. Jack retires on me from the mayor's hour. <laughs> and now the legend of West Tampa, the alcalde, 
the mayor of West Tampa is now retiring on me as well. Teddy, we're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too, Bob. You know, it's funny because in Spanish, buckhorn doesn't translate very well. <laughs> as you can imagine. And so there would be times when people would come up to me and completely mangle my name. But many years ago, Teddy took care of that problem for me. And so now I am known throughout West Tampa as Bubba Cone. Bubba Cone. <laughs> Bubba Cone. Because Ted Webb gave me that uh, nickname because he knew when people put Bob and Buckhorn all together, it came out Bubba Cone. So now I, I called the Bubba Cone. Yeah, they, they, they knew that I was going to be running into him at the uh, Mayor's Hispanic Heritage uh, Festival. And they said, oh, are you going to go speak to Bobby Kong? <laughs> I said, who? Baba Kong. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Baba Kong and I are like this. <laughs> Me amigo, Baba Kong. <laughs> so, what you going to do? I know you're never going to buy a cup of cafe con leche in West Tampa. <laughs> I'm just going to relax and try to get my health back. Good. So am I in about 14 months. <laughs> you know, it's been a fun ride. Teddy's, uh, on occasion, Teddy and I's politics will part ways. Um, oh, I think yeah. that's an understatement, certainly looking at this crowd. I haven't seen as many Trumpsters since uh, I was at the White House last Thursday, and my head was about to explode. <laughs> but one thing that we were always united on was our love for this amazing city and he is he is part of our dna he is he grew up here i did not and so much of what i have learned has come from people like ted webb and tampa's success is part of who he is and i know how proud you are to see your city become that city in america where everyone wants to be a part of but it couldn't happen without without uh, you teddy and and uh, the contributions that you've made so we are uh, we are forever grateful Thank you, Mayor. So I've got something for you. Um, I'm not going to read all these whereases. I know your uh, feelings about lawyers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just read. I'll just read uh, just the last one. It says, "Whereas, as one of the most well-known personalities in the Tampa Bay area, and respected by his peers in broadcasting, the media, and with the viewing and audience for his professionalism and credibility." The city of Tampa is honored to congratulate Ted Webb on his retirement from WFLA 970 AM after 35 years and grateful for the many contributions he has made to our community and its citizens. Now, therefore, I, Bubba Corn. <laughs> I'll call day Bubba Corn. I'll call day Bubba Corn. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the mayor of the city of Tampa, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, January 31st, 2018, as Ted Webb Day in the city of Tampa, Florida, and urge all of our citizens. This is your day, Teddy. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate that. That is fantastic. And, and they're still speaking over there. And if uh, Teddy can hear it, we also have somebody who is on the line here also. Hey, thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. And uh, would like to uh, say something on your final day here today. Would our guest on the line please check in? Hey, Ted, Mason Dixon and Bobby Rich from your old radio station, Q105. Yeah. Hey, Mason, how you guys doing? Come on, give them a hand. <laughs> Mason and Bobby. Listen, we remember the great old days. Oh, yeah. You weren't with us for a long time, but uh, it was a fun time. And, of course, we've stayed friends and stayed radio partners uh, mm -hmm. throughout the years. And, and uh, you know, between Bobby, myself, and you and Jack, we're the full four old buzzards of Tampa Bay Radio. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> We've got a lot of great uh, Ted Webb stories, but most of them we can't talk about good, on the air. Good, I was gonna, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those old days with Scott Shannon in the music room, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> or, or are you driving the boogie bus? Right. <laughs> oh, the boogie bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, brother, we wanted to wish you the absolute best. Uh, you know, God bless you. We'll still see you.
you around town, yeah. and I know you're going to have fun. Since uh, the last three years, I've joined the uh, Grandpa's Club just like you have. Uh, spending time with the grandbabies and relaxing is going to be a lot of fun. And a late happy birthday. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Love you both, but both to death. Two great professionals, Mason Dixon and Bobby Rich. Thank well, you, you know guys, just, for calling. I'm getting about ready for my 40th anniversary <laughs> here in Tampa Bay uh, at the end of February. Wow. Congratulations, Congratulations, Mason. Uh, Hey, thanks for calling, guys. We really appreciate it. That's fantastic. And I'll be seeing you, Mason, at the Be More Awards in a couple of weeks. And got another person on the line here. Would you please sign in? Hello, Ted Webb. It is MJ, or Todd Schnitt. How are you? Teddy, I want to tell a story because you embraced me when I first came to the Tampa Bay market. We started the MJ and DJ morning show on FLZ. On February 7th of, two, of uh, 1994, February 7th of 1994, and if you remember, Teddy, for quite a number of years, you did a sports report for us every single morning. Right, right. And, Teddy, from the beginning, when I first came to town, you were welcoming, you were comforting, uh, and listen, I'll, I'll never forget that. You also remembered my birthday every single year, Teddy. January 24th. Yeah, 100%, Teddy. And all I can say, it was absolutely a pleasure working with you at FLZ. And, of course, my show continues on 970 WFLA uh, after Hannity at 6. And, uh, listen, Teddy, you're a, a professional. And I want to know, of all of your publicity shots over the years, is the giant Afro photo your favorite? My favorite. My absolute favorite. That's the one, for sure. <laughs> hey, we Teddy, got... I wish you the best in retirement. Uh, you're a Tampa Bay radio legend, and uh, Godspeed. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate Thank that, man. Thank appreciate you. It. One other quick person we want to get on here quickly, because we've got to go to a break in a second. And would you please sign in? Hello, uh, this is uh, Sue Trekis. I can't believe you stuck me on right after Schnitt, but that's okay. <laughs> Teddy, how are you? Hi, Trikas. How you doing, buddy? This is a former oh. producer, too, by the way, to those who aren't aware. You guys are the only two people on earth I would get up in the middle of the night for to come into work, and it was my honor to work with both of you, and Teddy, to call you my friend for more than 30 years now means... More than I can say, buddy. Do you know I was going to be your buddy that night we went to High Line and we walked out of there with $800, remember that? I remember that you walked out with $800, I walked out with $28, but I still felt like I had won a million and we had a gorgeous prime rib that night and that was before I even started working there. And, uh, and it's been a ride ever since, buddy. Thank you, Sue. Hey, thank you, Sue Trickus. We appreciate one, you. One quick party. thing. I just Very Teddy, quick. you have always been the secret weapon and the soul of 970 WFLA. We're going to miss you more than I could ever, ever say. But uh, Thank you, Sue. It's 820 on AM Tampa Bay. President Trump says the State of the Union is strong. In his first State of the Union address, Trump said that with the American people, he's building a safe, strong, and proud America. The president said that 2.4 million new jobs have been created since the election, and unemployment claims have hit a 45-year low. A school nurse is credited with exposing possible abuse at a Polk County school. Winter Haven paraeducator Shelby Falk was arrested for abusing three special needs students at the Gene O'Dell Learning Center. Lakeland teacher Julio Torres was also arrested for not reporting the incidents. Instead, a school nurse reported them, and now police and Polk County school leaders are looking to see if there are any other victims. There's a good chance of a rocket launch today on the Space Coast. SpaceX has scheduled a liftoff this afternoon of a Falcon 9 rocket from the launch complex at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The two-hour-plus launch window starts at 425. The weather is a 90% go. The launch was scheduled for yesterday but was scrapped in part because of the wind. I'm Chris Trankman, News Radio 970 WFLA. Now let's check sports. 
From the 620 WDAE Sports Center, I'm Aaron Jacobson. The Lightning saw its three-game win streak come to an end following a 3-1 to loss in Winnipeg. Victor Hedman was back in action. Hedman had missed five games with a lower body injury. The Lightning continued their four-game road trip through Western Canada on Thursday against the Calgary Flames at 9 p.m. puck drop. The Washington Redskins and Kansas City Chiefs have engaged in the first blockbuster trade of the 2018 season. The Redskins will acquire quarterback Alex Smith, allowing them to part ways with previous starter Kirk Cousins. The Redskins will give Kansas City a third-round pick and Redskins cornerback Kendall Fuller as compensation. The Tampa Bay Rays have cut ties with team physician Michael Riley one week after the team was made aware of a YouTube video in which a woman accused him of sexual abuse. For more on these stories, listen to our sister station, 620 WDAE. Central Central Credit Union free checking traffic center have an accident eastbound on Ulmerton at Tall Pines. Some slow traffic southbound on 275 from Fletcher into Hillsborough Avenue. And northbound 275 slows on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. Also slowing westbound on I-4, especially from 50th Street to 275. This traffic report is brought to you by Sims Crane and Equipment. Sims Crane, Florida's premier crane safety and rigging experts offering cutting-edge technology for on-time crane operations, small and large, always available. Visit SimsCrane.com. Daisy Ashley Radio 970 WFLA. Win cash to pay off those high holiday bills with a grand in your hand. Your chance to win a thousand bucks happens 16 times a day. Listen for the keyword to text and win every weekday morning beginning at 6 a.m. This is 970 WFLA. Termites no longer need to kick you out of your home. Earth's best natural pest management says that if you have a termite problem in your home or business, you don't have to tent or move out. Say no to fumigation. Say yes to orange oil. Earth's best natural pest management uses natural oil from oranges to kill termites. And this fantastic consumer-friendly orange extract product actually wicks through the wood, killing termites and termite eggs on contact. You don't have to move out or bag your food. No worries about poisoning your family or pets. You get the same warranty as tent fumigation. And best of all, it works. Plus, it smells terrific. They can treat single-family homes, condos, townhomes, mobile homes, office complexes, all without tenting. Be one of the first 20 callers and get a free termite inspection and 20% discount. Call 800-634-1313. Get your free termite inspection and 20% discount or go to insectfree.com. Broadcasting from the Audible Hearing Aid Studio, this is News Radio 970 WFLA. Take a trip back in time at the Bay Area Renaissance Festival at Mosey. Queens, kings, knights, ladies and jousters will entertain you as you walk the village grounds. Seven themed weekends with pirates and pets, wine and chocolate, Scottish games, and barbarian brews, just to name a few. Adventure awaits you. Escape weekends February 10th through March 25th. Take a trip in time to the Bay Area Renaissance Festival at Mosey. BayAreaRenFest.com Calm. If you have any problems with your hearing, regardless of age, you need to turn to Audible. First of all, with Audible, you get your hearing checked and find out how much they can help you. The technology is amazing. These aren't your grandpa's hearing aids. They're not intrusive, and the technology allows you all kinds of hearing options, and they offer a 45-day risk-free trial on all their hearing aids. If you return them, there's no cost to you. Audible, the only major manufacturer of hearing aids made in America, go to Florida. FloridaHearing.com Internal Revenue Service When you owe a personal or business tax debt and can't pay, just hearing those three words brings feelings of fear and anxiety. And it's only a matter of time before tax liens, wage garnishments, or bank levies happen to you. We are J. David Tax Law, a local firm right here in Tampa. Your first step to resolution is our no-cost consultation. We take the time to go through your specific tax problem step by step. We explain exactly what your options are and how we will resolve your tax issue. At J. David Tax Law, only highly experienced tax attorneys will represent you. And our fee payment plans are affordable for everyone. If you have tax problems, call us now for a no-cost consultation at 813-605-1615. That's 813-605-1615. Or find us on the web at jdavidtaxlaw.com. Peace of mind is only a click or phone call away. 
Is my kid in the right car seat? I guess she is. There are probably rules on when to move up to a booster seat, aren't there? Rear facing, forward facing. I think I have it right. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Are your children in the right car seat for their age and size? Don't think you know. Know you know. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Medical malpractice dial pound 529 on your cell. Pound law, that's all. Saying farewell to a great friend. You're listening to the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. And now, 970 WFLA presents Webb's World. Calling it like he sees it, here's Ted Webb. This has always been one of my shortcomings in life, saying goodbye. It's always difficult to part ways with a team that you love and an audience that you adore, but it's time. I'm 69 years old. I can't always answer the bell the day after dialysis, so it's time to go. It's been a fun run of 54 years and five months, from the beginning to the end, from playing DJ to sportscaster to talk show host to morning show host. I've had a ball. I've always had motivation for not embarrassing myself or my family, and except for a few times, I think I didn't disappoint them. I've been asked what my high spot in the 54-year career was, but I, I can't come up with anything much past the Ronald Reagan Jr. face-off a few years ago. And then there was that errant April Fool's prank that got way out of hand in 1976. I was fortunate enough to disc jockey during the sexual revolution, do sports during a great football era, and do talk radio during the political revolution. I mean, how lucky can one guy be? This is not going away. It's not a going away. I'll still be around plenty, but I'll be more than, than uh, rested when I come back. That's what I need more than anything else right now is just plenty of rest. Keep me in your prayers. I need them to feel better. So instead of saying goodbye, let's leave it as I'll see you soon. Love you all. This is not the end of AM Tampa Bay. This is the new edition of the show. It's going to grow with its youth. I, for one, can't wait to hear the new edition of AM Tampa Bay with Jack, Aaron, Jeff, and Katie. It'll be fun listening to, and that's the way I see it. That's Webb's World, and you are going to be hearing Webb's World every Wednesday, I'm happy to report. And people have been wondering, what does Jeff Kirkendall looks like? Take a look. How does this thing work? Not very know. pretty. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Crazy Jeff Kirkendall is here. To, the captain at the controls. Yeah, Captain Kirk. I am here. I'm not controlling anything, though. No, and no sound effects with you either. Well, I could, but it... Oh, wait, don't do yeah, that one. Don't do so. that one, please. <laughs> we don't need nice. that one. Now. Do it too, though. That clears the room, though. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to, Captain Kirkendall to come in and say howdy to everybody and say goodbye to... To our man Ted. Well, I want to say bye to Ted because he's been a bit more than just a co worker with me. He's an uncle, he's a part time dad. We've uh, done so much together. We've closed down many a liquor stand, <laughs> many a hospital room together. And I think we're going to be doing a little bit better than that than we have in the last few years. So it's not like I'm going to be missing you. We're going to be neighbors now. We're going to be neighbors and even tighter than ever. So to me, it's just the next step forward. I'm not very sad. I'm kind of happy today about this. I think it's going to be a good thing for both of us. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And that is Jeff Kirkendall right here. <laughs> Captain Kirkendall. And it's 8.30 on AM Tampa Bay. When you need to know. News Radio 970 WFLA. Good morning. I'm Chris Trankman. Our top story at 8.30. A Lakeland gymnastics coach who has regular contact with young kids has been busted on child porn charges. 21-year-old Alexander Kachalov works at his parents' gym called Elite World Gymnastics Training Complex on State Road 33. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says while Ketchalov was found with digital porn images, they want to make sure there are no real-life victims. But if a child's ever come home and said that he or she was inappropriately touched, we want to know about that. Ketchalov confessed to posing as a teenager to obtain the porn images, some of which included sexual battery on minors. He's charged with 21 counts of possessing child porn. Trump talks unity. That story ahead.
First, let's get an update on the roads. Here's Daisy Ash. We have slow traffic westbound on I-4, most away from US 301 into 275. And on I-75 northbound, we're slowing down from the Selman to State Road 60. Southbound I-75 is a little heavy from Fletcher into I-4. Southbound 275 looks quite slow from Fletcher into Hillsborough Avenue. Northbound 275 has slow traffic from 375 to 54th Avenue North. We're very slow on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. And we have some windy conditions on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. The bridge is still open to all vehicles. Daisy Ashton's Radio 970 WFLA. <laughs> Chilly and breezy this morning, but should be pleasant this afternoon with a high of 68. It's 47 degrees at News Radio 970 WFLA. News is a service of the Bonatti Spine Institute. President Trump's first State of the Union address is a call for unity. Trump said last night there's never been a better time to start living the American dream. He also challenged Congress to tackle immigration reform and infrastructure, saying Americans deserve better highways, bridges, rails, and airports. The people dreamed this country. The people built this country. And it's the people who are making America great again. Meanwhile, President Trump left out any talk about the Russia investigation and the House memo that's created so much controversy within the FBI and the Justice Department. A senior Republican close to the president told me he never intended to mention the Russia probe because White House officials did not want to step on this speech in any way. But now this Republican memo about Obama administration surveillance of Trump officials is likely to be made public by the president by the end of the week. We've got a Congressman Jeff Duncan asking the president about about releasing that memo as he left the House chamber. The president made it clear it's coming out. Let's release the memo. Oh, yeah, well, don't worry. 100 percent. He said that memo written by House Intel Chairman Devin Nunes and his staff names ousted FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe as one of several senior officials who may have approved that surveillance of Trump officials. Ed Henry reporting from Capitol Hill. Lakeland police say a 19-year-old man who was shot by a homeowner remains in critical condition. In the newly released 911 call, Charlotte Ives tells the dispatcher her husband shot the intruder after he broke down their front door early Sunday morning. Can your husband see where he shot him at? Can you tell where you shot him? In the chest. In the chest. Can you go over to your husband and ask him if he can see if the man has a weapon on him? Can you tell if he's got a weapon on him or not? Does not see a weapon. Police say Gabriel Jacobs had been banging on the front door of Ives' house on Shorewood Place in the overnight hours of Sunday morning. The Ives tell investigators they warned the man to go away because they had a gun, but he kicked in the door, and that's when he was shot. It's unclear if Jacobs was impaired or why he chose that home. Tampa International Airport is in the top 10 airports for firearm discoveries. Last year, 97 guns, most of which were loaded, were confiscated at the security checkpoints. Mark Howell of the Transportation Security Administration says most folks are simply oblivious to federal rules. We don't want to infringe on your right to take a firearm with you when you travel. We just don't want it accessible during the flight and make, to make sure that it's packed the safest way possible uh, and declared to the airline. Passengers can travel with a firearm but not on board. They have to place it unloaded and secured in their checked luggage. SpaceX will try again today to launch a European government satellite aboard a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral. The liftoff was scheduled for yesterday afternoon, but was scrubbed in part because of high winds. It's 834 at News Radio 970 WFLA. Weather is next. Are money matters on your mind? Here's David Graham with today's Money Minute. Well, look what just happened. The Dow Jones fell 362 points yesterday. I hope that you didn't take it in the shorts. Unfortunately, it's a bad sign of things to come. Warren Buffett always says, be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. And right now in America, greed is good. So if you're planning for retirement within five or so years, you better start getting fearful quickly, because not only did you lose a lot of money yesterday, you also lost some of your monthly retirement check. In the future, things will only cost more, not less. Look, you simply can't afford to lose one penny anymore. Why? Because you're now running out of time. Need help? Just go to GrahamCapitalAdvisors.com. Listen to David Graham every Sunday at 9 for guaranteeing your retirement on 970 WFLA. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. 
inviting you to become a member of the Fields family when you buy or lease from any of our 31 locations. You also get our Fields amenities that include free loaners, car washes, and our gourmet cafes. And with more than 35,000 vehicles sold annually, you can get a great offer like this. Lease a new 2017 BMW 320i sedan for only $279 per month for 36 months at Fields BMW. After all, you are family, and Fields matters because you matter. When I walk into any of the Fields dealerships, they greet me by my first name, they know who I am, they know what cars I own. It's just been a great experience, and that's why I've continued to come back. Fields BMW. See Fields first off the I-4 at exit 33. Go to FieldsBMW.com. Available to qualified buyers to BMW Financial Services. $27.50 down plus title tax license, $589 dock fee, and $925 acquisition fee. No security deposit. 10,000 miles per year. Offer ends 131.18. At Mosaic, knowing more about nature makes us better at our job. Our job? Plant millions of trees. Conserve and recycle water. And what we've learned, we also help teach. Mosaic helps farmers grow more food on less land. That's why we proudly help organizations that teach modern farming and ranching practices so local students can continue the proud tradition that feeds us all. Mosaic, helping today's farmers. And tomorrow's. Learn more at mosaicco.com slash Florida. When you're hiring, you want qualified candidates fast, and it can be hard to know where to find them. More than 3 million businesses use Indeed.com, the world's number one job site. Whether you need entry-level or highly skilled employees, Indeed helps you find great talent and make the right hire. Indeed is offering new users a $50 credit to give their first job post premium visibility as a sponsored job. Redeem this offer at Indeed.com slash promo. That's Indeed.com slash promo. Terms, conditions, and quality standards apply. Lightning. Flames, tomorrow night at 830, only on 970 WFLA, the home of lightning hockey. The IRS doesn't mess around. They can take your paycheck and bank accounts, too, even threaten your home or business. If you owe back taxes, call Optima Tax Relief. Optima has access to a special IRS program called the Fresh Start Initiative, and their clients that qualify are saving thousands, even tens of thousands. Optima is A-rated with the Better Business Bureau. Don't delay. Call now for your free consultation. Call 800-960-1575. 800-960-1575. Will you need your umbrella today? Get the Storm Team 8 forecast at the top and 30 past each hour on 970 WFLA. Breezy as we round out the month of January this morning. Temperatures do warm up nicely, though. Lots of sunshine, up to 68 degrees by the afternoon. Should feel pleasant with lighter winds. It's mostly clear and cool overnight with a low of 52. And then slightly warmer tomorrow, mostly sunny and 72. I'm Storm Team 8 meteorologist Lee Spann on News Radio 970, WFLA. The Crown Eurocar's air quality index is good. Right now, mostly sunny. 50 degrees in St. Petersburg, 47 in New Tampa, and 49 at your severe weather station. News Radio 970, WFLA. Next update at 848. I'm Chris Trankman. This report is brought to you by Auto Glass America. If you have a damaged windshield and full insurance coverage, Auto Glass America can install a new one for free and buy back your old one for up to $100 on the spot. Call 813-96-GLASS. That's 813-96-GLASS. If it's chipped or cracked, they will buy it back. From Florida Central Credit Union Free Checking Traffic Center, we have some slow traffic southbound on 275 from Fletcher to Hillsboro Avenue. Northbound 275 is looking slow on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. And this traffic report is brought to you by Tampa Machinery Auction. If you need cash for any type vehicle, truck, boat, trailer, construction equipment, let Tampa Machinery Auction help. Consignments accepted through Wednesday, February 7th for auction Saturday, February 10th. Visit tmauction.com or call 813-986-2485. License number AB135 and AU871. Daisy Ashton Stadium. 970 See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Traffic Tip Line, Hillsboro. 866-545-9595. Saying farewell to a legendary Bay Area broadcaster. We're back with more on the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. And a good morning. Teddy is over here now with his little dog, Rocket. And we got other things going on here. And I got to get Teddy to get his headset on because we got another guest checking in right now. Well, they got a picture taking thing going on over there right now. And everybody's getting a picture. Rocket. Uh, Rocket. The Rocket dog. Man. Yeah. This is my dog, Rocket. 
named after Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un, of course. And uh, this is our very special day, and we're getting down to the wire here, as a matter of fact. And we got a special guest calling in, I think, from Dallas. Is that right? Uh, that is correct, uh, Mr. Harris. Uh, I couldn't let today go. This is Jeff Fisher. Jeffy, how are you, sir? How you and doing, Jeff Fisher? And you, and you guys shared a birthday a couple of days ago. Yeah, we did. <laughs> There's no need to bring that up, Jack. <laughs> uh, I, I don't celebrate those anymore. I don't know about Ted, but I don't. Um, I just couldn't let the day go, though. I cannot believe the man is actually retiring. It is, it's, a, it's a shock to me. How is Tampa Bay going to live without your perspective, Mr. Webb? Now, they'll still get it Wednesday morning. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that. I can't believe that the man who would get up in the middle of an interview and just chase Smokey Robinson down the down the hallway. Hey, that's Smokey Robinson. And just leave whatever was going on on the air. Well, it was Smokey Robinson. I mean, how often do you get a chance to meet Smokey Robinson? And I figured you could handle the interview by yourself. <laughs> so I bailed out to go great. But we brought Smokey in for an hour, didn't we? Well, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Jack, are you going to be able to handle it okay without Ted? Well, I'm going to get a lot of help from Aaron and, of course, uh, Captain Kirkendall. And uh, we got the lovely ladies are going to be on board here. And Katie, who's working this morning, she's over here. Uh, so we'll hang in there. Well, I just, uh, I know you guys, I know Ted's got a, you know, busy taking pictures with the dog. But, uh, I just didn't want to have the day go by without saying, you know, I love you, Ted. Thank and you, Jeffy. You know, I appreciate a, that, man. It's a, it's a, a sad but happy day. I know it is. Jeffy yeah, is boy. working with Glenn Beck up in Texas now. The world, uh, the world is going to uh, miss the day to day perspectives of Ted Webb, that is for sure. Thank you, babe. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. All right, I love you. We'll talk to you. Love you too, Jeffy. Good to hear from you, Jeff, and tell Amber howdy. And oh, my goodness. All that stuff. Look who just walked in here now. It is Bob Passwaters, who came, hello, to, hello. came to work. When I came to work here at 97 WFLA back then, it was in September of 1970, and I think it was in December or January. I think January. January, he became the next person who came to work there back yep. in January of 1971. Yep, it was a long time ago, but a lot of fun, though. And they gave him the name, uh, his name, Bob Passwaters, of course, and they named him Bob James. Bob James. And then Big Chief Passwaters, thanks to Harris. Yeah. He said, well, he looks like an Indian. Let's call him Big Chief Passwaters. Well, I you know, first I'd call him Bob James and his orchestra yeah, now, and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then at one point I thought, why do they call him a stupid name like Bob James? And I went in and I said, his real name is Bob Passwaters. Nobody forget that name. And so they changed his name back to his real name, Bob Passwaters. So then it was Big Chief Passwaters. That was a lot of fun. I used to go out drinking with Jack at night. And we, of course, worked early in the morning. I always lived in Pinellas County. And my wife said, it was 11 o'clock when I got home. Aren't you work tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock? I'd say, yeah, but Jack had a client out. <laughs> that was the story for years. That worked. I used that for the first 10 years we were working together. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I used to go out with you, too. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, that now, was, that was nowadays, you see pictures on Facebook of Bob Passwater surrounded by Hooters girls because he's the chief of the advertising agency that represents Hooters. So tough he, job. Tough job. But we're always saying, oh, man. And to have your job, you know. I know. And then I, we always enjoy, we bring the calendar girls in and come on the air. And you have to come back when we do that. I know Jack will let you come back for that event. <laughs> but uh, So we bring in. This is our 35th year Hooters is celebrating in the market. So having a big celebration in October. But we, Ted, it's gonna, we're going to miss you. But uh, enjoy your, your life and retirement. Have a great time. Thank you, Bob. And... Uh, at Hooters has come up with an idea. We know you might have some issues. There they are. So we've got the Ted Webb Retirement Security Team that are going to be able to follow you around. Uh, show everybody. Show everybody. The They're wearing these little brief T-shirts that say Ted Webb Security, security Team. team. <laughs> and then, of course, the orange shorts and... White shoes. The older I get, the more security I need, you know? <laughs> Several guys stopped me in the hallway and wanted to help with their security problems. I bet. Uh, yeah. I bet. I can only imagine. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, uh, we're sorry you're leaving, but uh, anything you need, 
Give us a call. I know you'll be around the area, so let more, us know. More security. Can... There you go. We'll get a couple of <laughs> Hey, Ronnie. Okay. upsets me about that is I don't get to work with you. <laughs> and I come in when Aaron takes vacation day. How's that? Well, I'm going to kick his butt out of there one day so I can get to come in and work with you. <laughs> That'll take some doing. But, um, you know, it's just been an incredible 40, what's it been, 30? No. 48 years. No, well, I, I came to work there in, in 34 years ago. You, you got here in 1970. Yeah, and then they... I was the guy that started talk radio. Right, <laughs> accidentally. Yep. It happened uh, during Hurricane Hurricane Elena, and I was. We got they evacuated the beaches, and I'm coming in from the beach, and I'm listening to our radio, and we're running some overnight trash, whatever it was. I was like, Good Lord, streets are packed. It's like drive time, and the streets are out there, and people have their radios on. So. Uh, my wife dropped me off to the station, and I went up to say, hey, you called sheriff's offices, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And we went all talk all night and talked about the hurricane, what you can do, and I had guests on and everything. And the next day, the boss said, boy, that was great. You know, that's fantastic. We, we, we're going to change our format from music format to all talk format. I said, what? I don't want to work in an all talk station. And I ended up getting fired right after that because I didn't want to work in an all talk station. But it well, starting out. tomorrow, though, Jack, we have another problem to solve. What's that? Well, I will now have seniority in this show now. <laughs> I've been with the show longer than you, longer than Aaron and Katie and Morgan together. <laughs> so tomorrow I will start deciding everything that's going on here, right? He is our senior guy now. Senior. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Anyway, it's 8.48, and we'll be back here in a moment with Rack Your Brain. Got everybody lined up for that. But right now, let's go to the newsroom and Chris Strinkman. More guns are getting seized at security checkpoints at Tampa's airport. Mark Howell of the TSA says most people don't seem to know they can't bring a gun on a plane. Last year, TSA screeners seized 97 weapons at airport checkpoints. 90 of them were loaded. Pinellas County commissioners are planning to ask career source Pinellas CEO Edward Peachy to resign. Peachy's accused of inflating the number of people his federally funded agency has found jobs for. Tampa Bay Times reports that career source Pinellas' executive board will hold an emergency meeting today to discuss Peachy's future with the organization. Efforts to keep a Plant City father of six from being deported to Mexico appear to be in vain. Friends, family, and activists rallied outside ICE offices in Tampa yesterday in support of Luis Blanco. He's lived in the U.S. illegally for 20 years, but his petition to stay on humanitarian grounds was denied. The 40-year-old was told he'll be sent to a detention center in Miami, and his pregnant wife tells the Tampa Bay Times they don't know how they'll get along without him. I'm Chris Frankman, News Radio 970 WFLA. Now, here's a look at sports. From the 620 WDAE Sports Center, I'm Aaron Jacobson. The Lightning saw its three-game win streak come to an end following a 3-1 to -one loss in Winnipeg. Victor Hedman was back in action. Hedman had missed five games with a lower body injury. The Lightning continued their four-game road trip through Western Canada on Thursday against the Calgary Flames at 9 p.m. puck drop. The Washington Redskins and Kansas City Chiefs have engaged in the first blockbuster trade of the 2018 season. The Redskins will acquire quarterback Alex Smith, allowing them to part ways with previous starter Kirk Cousins. The Redskins will give Kansas City a third-round pick and Redskins cornerback Kendall Fuller as compensation. The Tampa Bay Rays have cut ties with team physician Michael Riley one week after the team was made aware of a YouTube video in which a woman accused him of sexual abuse. For more on these stories, listen to our sister station, 620 WDAE. We're still looking very slow northbound on 275 from midspan of the eastbound Howard Franklin Bridge into West Shore Boulevard. And southbound looks slow from Fowler into Sly. We're slow westbound on I-4 from 50th Street to 275. This traffic report is brought to you by UFIT Health Clubs. Whether it's laundry or binging a new TV show, you'll make up any excuse to get out of going to the gym. But for just zero dollars down, UFIT makes it easy to beat your excuses. So hurry in now. This offer ends January 31st. Find your local UFIT at www.ufit.com. Daisy Ashley, JD 970 WFLA.
970 WFLA wants to help you pay off your holiday bills with 16 chances every weekday to win $1,000. Just listen for the nationwide keyword to text and win instantly. Get all the contest times and more info. Go to 970WFLA.com and click the contest tab. Next chance to win $1,000 happens at 6 past the top of the hour on 970 WFLA. The Home Improvement Store has patio furniture. Don't do it. Stop by Leaders Casual Furniture and talk to the outdoor furniture experts. We'll help you pick out just the right stuff. Find one of 19 locations at leadersfurniture.com. It slowly inches upward, and as it climbs, you get more and more excited. And soon it reaches the top, stops for just a second, and then it propels you down faster and faster. I mean, it's great as an amusement park ride. Stock markets, investments being roller coasters, not so fun. Hi, it's Glenn Beck, and we have had quite a climb on the stock market. When is it going to reach the top? And what happens to all of the stuff that you've made and you've held on to as it's racing to the bottom? You won't have to worry about it if you've had an experienced financial advisor show you what could happen to your portfolio during and after a market correction. Now is the time to prepare. Call Steve Holland today or go to AskSteveHolland.com to find out what you can do right now before a market correction. Do what people in Tampa Bay have done for over 25 years. Ask Steve Holland at AskSteveHolland.com. When you're retired, you're going to be glad you took the time today. AskSteveHolland.com Hey folks, I'm Richard Karn. I'm Jill Becker. We're here to tell you about 50 Floor. Oh. Whoa, I see you brought along a friend today, Richard. Our pets are like family members. They go everywhere with us, but they can be hard on your floors. Oh, tell me about it. The good news is that 50 Floor can help. 50 Floor offers a full line of pet certified, waterproof, and stain resistant flooring. And 50 Floor couldn't make it any easier. They bring the samples to you so you can see them in your light and with your decor. And 50 Floor really shines on the day of installation. They move your furniture, haul away your old flooring, clean up and leave. And now through the end of the month, you'll get free installation on all carpet, hardwood, laminate and vinyl. Mention promo code radio and you get an extra $100 off. 50 Floor is the place to shop if your pets are doing well what pets do in the house. Call 877-50-FLOOR or go online to 50floor.com to schedule your free in-home consultation. So stop worrying about what your pets might do in your home and just just love what they bring to your life. Call 877-54. Pick up the phone, we'll be knocking at your door. Cameron McIntosh presents the spectacular new production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Phantom of the Opera. Critics are raving. It's bigger and better than ever before. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. February 14th through 25th. Tickets and information at strazcenter.org. Social Security case, dial pound 529 on your cell. Pound law, that's all. Saying goodbye to a legendary Bay Area broadcaster. This is the Ted Webb Retirement Party on News Radio 970 WFLA. Rack your brain. Brought to you by Crown Euro Cars. <laughs> uh, Ted is a little occupied here right now. Now he's ready for Rack Your Brain. I'm all right, I need some mic. There we go. Three categories for Rack Your Brain. One hit wonders, politics, and artists of the 80s. If you want to play 800-969-9352, that's 800-969-WFLA. And uh, who do we have on the line? We got uh, Bernie on. Bernie, uh, you're first up, man. One hit wonders, politics, or artists of the 80s. What will it be? Artists of the 80s. Artists of the 80s. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. You tell me the artist of this song. That's 10 seconds worth. What's, uh, what's the artist of the 80s? Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean is right, man. Congratulations. You are a winner. Katie, who, who, we don't have Katie. We yeah, have Morgan. You got me in the other side of the other side of the building. Okay, tell them uh, what they win. Benny, you're getting a family four-pack of tickets to Monster Jam. Uh, wait, you can do it better than that. You can do it better than that. Monster Jam. She got it. She got it. She got it. <laughs> That's this weekend, by the way. <laughs> Oh, brother. But you got to ask him, what's the phrase that pays? What's Daddy? the phrase that pays there, Bernie? 
Hey, Teddy, I appreciate everything. I'm going to miss your morning show and um, every day with WFLA. I, I wish you well, brother. That's a long-ass uh, phrase, isn't it? I don't think we can get that on a bumper sticker, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, anyway, i got to start doing that tomorrow. Yep. The uh, rack your brain thing, but um, maybe I'll come up with some trivia regarding Ted Webb. No nose jokes either, or, I mean questions either. <laughs> there we go. You the first get, nose joke of the morning. Got to get one in every show, though, you know. Well, I'm, I'm saving something that happened yesterday for tomorrow morning for Kirkendall, because he's going to jump all over it, I'll guarantee you. It involves... It involves uh, well, it's with a uh, otorhinolaryngologist. <laughs> That'll be enough said here. I had a female one. <laughs> well, that's good. Mine's a male. But uh, nevertheless, as we wrap it up here this morning, again, Teddy will be continuing to do Webb's World on Wednesdays. He's going to be here with David Graham, and occasionally we're going to get him in here to host the morning show, working with the uh, crew and tomorrow morning we come back here with Aaron and Jeff and Katie and Morgan and the whole bunch but um, looking back I know it's it's tough to pick one memory and I mean I think of all the things that you and I have done together stuff that we've enjoyed yeah, over I, the years I think I enjoyed getting Jack on if, if you ever were at the old Tampa Stadium uh, the old Tampa Stadium their elevator was the slowest moving thing in the world yeah. And Jack comes in last to get into the elevator, and he's smiling until he sees me in the back of the elevator, and then he goes, oh, God, I know it's in store. Well, no, you were over next to me. It was for the Outback Bowl game, Outback and we've been out there, and I, I forgot you had that until we got in this crowded elevator, and Ahmad Rashad was in the back of it, and I'll, I'll never forget. I got this little fart bag that sounds like the real deal. I mean, this yeah. thing doesn't sound fake. And as soon as I realized you're standing right next to me, we're packed up front of the thing, I thought, oh, no, I know what he's going to do. I know it. I'm doing like this. And, of course, he does it then, and he looks. I look, look right at Jack. Yeah. I look right at Jack, and Jack is, like, giggling, and everybody thinks Jack is the one who farted. Yeah. And we came up to the first floor on that, that big floor there. The elevator door opened, and, man, he just poured out of there. Everybody and all that's out of there. <laughs> and the one other one I'll never forget, too, using that thing, and that was uh, we were with... Uh, what was his name, the actor? That Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen had a uh, softball game here for uh, charity, but shortly after he had it, he and I were walking out together in the old lobby out here when things were shifted around a little bit, and there was a woman in there who bent over an elderly lady to pick up a tract, and as he walked behind her, he let it rip. The minute, and, the minute she bent over, I, and, and she jumped up like this and looked around. And everybody, of course, looking at the lady, thinking she was the one who <laughs> cut the cheese. Well, a lot of other great memories like that. And we'll look forward to uh, getting you back in here every chance we get. And in the meantime... Before we go, I want to say thank you for carrying me for 24 years. I, I haven't you. carried you. You've carried that show, believe me. No, I appreciate you, man, more than you know. And for one last time live here... Live it up. News, traffic, and weather. News Radio 970 WFLA Tampa. And WXTV HD2 Clearwater.